Hey guys, it's Joe Snow with All Monitor, and here are your top headlines this week from around the Middle East and North Africa. Violence escalated on Friday at East Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque. At least 31 Palestinians were injured after Israeli police stormed the site, which is considered holy to both Muslims and Jews. Violence has surged in Jerusalem over the past week, and their fears will erupt into a wider conflict. An Egyptian court sentenced a former member of parliament to 10 years in prison for smuggling artifacts out of the country. 22 others were also involved in the same case. Egypt is cracking down on illegal trade and smuggling of antiquities in a move to revive its stumbling tourism sector. Turkey renewed air and ground attacks in the Kurdistan region of northern Iraq this week in a move it says is targeting PKK militants, which are considered a terrorist group by Turkey and its western allies. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said that Baghdad supported the offensive, but Baghdad denied the claim. Global oil prices may continue to rise as Libya's national oil company halted production at a major oil field. A group of tribal leaders had earlier shut down the site as tensions flare between rival factions in the North African country.